Hello everyone, I hope those are watching this tutorial doing great and having good health and in this video I'm going to explain another important basic chapter of physics and it's about wave and sound. Uh, in this tutorial I will only discuss about the definition types and the characteristics of waves. In the following tutorials I shall be trying my level best to upload the rest of the contents of the chapters because uh, there are some mathematical terms that we need to know and also um, when we we'll study about sound it's pretty similar so before going to explain the wave uh, what is inside of this chapter it's because SSC physics or students of English versions and all of you know that waves and sounds are together discussed so we need to know first a wave and then we need to study about sound so I'll definitely upload the tutorials periodically uh, one way after one and then after the whole playlist I hope you'll be able to understand the concept and the process of the, uh, the problem solving techniques of some mathematics related with waves so what is the definition of waves if you read the first para or the introduction of the waves you might have some ideas that what can be the definition. I have written something that the periodic movement. So why it's a periodic movement? Because it's an ongoing process and it will be doing in a, in a periodic way. So the periodic movement that transfer, the most importantly the, the definition itself says the characteristics of a wave. So the definition says the periodic movement that transfer energy energy from one place to another so that means wave is transferring energy from one place to another through a medium and it's a periodic movement so we can say that the periodic movement that transfer energy from one place to another and in an elastic medium very important so a medium is required so in an elastic medium but but no physical displacement will involve of the particles in the medium that is known as a wave. You can define a wave in another way but I am just trying to capture the characteristics of the wave or you can have the same definitions from your book also. But the thing is the concept of wave is that that wave is the process of transferring energy from one place to another but the particles of the medium will have no displacement permanently from the medium. So how it's going on? I mean, when waves propagate from one place to another place, then the oscillations, I mean the vibrations or the particles of the medium will have some sort of directions and vibrations. And that is actually makes the types of waves. So before going to explain the types of waves, we need to think about the characteristics of waves. I have written the key points or you can have more of course. The characteristics of waves is first medium is necessary. As we say that definitely from if waves is transferring energy from one place to another through an elastic medium. So the first characteristics is that wave is needed as medium is necessary. And then second characteristics is the particles of the medium will oscillate. But no permanent displacement will happen. That means when we see that in our pedi field when wind is blowing and then the pedis will have like when we see that we throw a stone in the pond and then the vibrations of the waters towards the bank of the pond but no water particles is displaced. So the vibrations means that, that it will oscillate. Definitely there will be an oscillations but no permanent displacement of the particles. Thirdly definitely is from the definitions we can say that energy transfer will happen that means through wave energy will be transferred fourth is that is velocity that means waves should have a velocity and it definitely varies through the medium if the medium is so hard then the velocity of wave is also high you see that sound velocity so the velocity of sound in air, it might be 0 degrees Celsius, I mean it's 332 or 333 meter per second. Like from Google you can say that 331 meter per second. But 
the velocity of sound in air if you consider then the velocity of sound in water is more than 1400 or even if you see the velocity of sound in iron it's more than 500 meter per second so we can say that the velocity of a wave depends on the density of the medium the, the velocity is so high if the medium is more dense <clears throat> fifth that think about a light it's also a wave so when it lights it has a reflection and refraction so the reflection and the refraction is another characteristics of wave you must know the reflection and refractions when light falls into a reflected then it just come back to the previous medium that is known as a reflection but if it is a clear medium then the pro the way it was just moving uh, but it was not moving in the same directions it changes its direction this is called refraction and definitely we will study when we'll study about <clears throat> the reflection of light and the refraction of light because these two things are very important and this is discussed just after the chapter and this is very important components and uh, topics of physics the reflection of light and the refraction of light so as it is a wave so we can say that the characteristics of wave is reflection and refraction will occur and sixth characteristics that superposition of wave superposition means suppose now two waves if it is similar if it is similar and then if the two waves comes together then the amplitude of the waves may increase or may decrease suppose if these waves look similar if they comes together then the amplitude may high or even if the 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 wave looks different and just opposite and if they come together then make it's very simple so superposition of wave is another characteristics that one wave can change the directions of another wave if they fall together and that is called superpositions so if similar things it might be so drawing in your books also the similar type of waves if they comes together the amplitude becomes so higher but where it's just opposite together they are just making the equilibrium of the medium so this is called the superpositions so what are the characteristics and what are the definition of wave so simply we know that the periodic movement that transfer energy from one place to another in an elastic medium this is important to know that elastic medium but involve no physical displacement of the particles in the medium that is known as wave and what are the characteristics I was just writing the key points so that you can memorize and when if the question is asked in the papers what are the characteristics of waves then you can write that medium is necessary but that is not also true but in case of electromagnetic wave I'll come up with the next video that what are the difference between the mechanical wave and electromagnetic uh, wave but this medium is necessary in case of mechanical wave two is oscillations will happen but no displacement energy will be transferred uh, as it is a wave so it should have some velocities and that velocity depends on the density of the medium the velocity of wave is higher in the density more dense medium so the velocity of sound of air is less than the velocity of sound in water comparatively Superposition will happen. So I hope you understand the six characteristics of a wave. Now we need to move, we need to think about the types of a wave. What are the types? So if I say that types of waves are two types. Number one is a transverse wave. So transverse wave. So what is transverse wave? And secondly, I can say that longitudinal wave, longitudinal wave, what are the main basic differences between these two types of waves? So the transverse wave means when waves propagates towards the definite directions, suppose, suppose 
the wave is propagating towards that direction, then it will propagate like this way and in case of longitudinal wave when when this propagates then the oscillations of the particles that is the different thing you see that here in this process or in this wave the oscillations of this medium of the particles looks perpendicular that means that means that the direction of the waves in this way but the oscillations or the vibrations of the particles is just the right angle so the perpendicular so when when a wave propagates two directions but the particles of the medium oscillates perpendicularly that wave is known as transverse wave but in case of longitudinal wave what's going on suppose it's in spring or you can say that this is like that then this then this is like that then this that means the direction of waves and the oscillation of the particles looks parallel that means the directions in this way and the oscillations of the particles is also in this way so it, it's moving parallelly and that is the definition of longitudinal wave so what are the differences between these you see that in this movement when a particle is oscillating there is an upper topper place and lower topper place this is known as crest and this is known as trough trough so when um, in long uh, transverse wave will be, will be propagating then in every aspect crest and trough will be formed crest and trough will be formed but in case of longitudinal wave what's going on you see in this place there is a compression and in this place there is a rarefaction so two different keywords we need to understand number one is compression compressions and this place is known as rarefaction rarefaction so the transverse wave is moving forming crest and trough of the particles but the longitudinal wave is forming the compressions and rarefactions so you see in case of understanding wavelength a wavelength of transverse wave will be formed one crest and one trough so that is a perfect wavelength so one wavelength it means one crest and one trough and in case of longitudinal wave it means that one compression and one rarefaction so uh, combination of the trough and crest it means one complete wavelength in transverse wave and one rarefaction and compression means one complete wavelength in longitudinal wave so i hope this is very clear for you the definition of wave the characteristics of wave and the types of wave i'm just giving you a very simple and primary level discussions because uh, there are a lot of other things is waiting because when we know the theory of waves we need to complete and we need to do some mathematics and that is definitely depending on the proper understanding of the theory and uh, this class is about only definition characteristics and types in the next video i'm coming up with some common quantities that is explained and that should know uh, to understand the wave properly so that is about the wavelength the frequencies the time periods uh, amplitudes uh, phase so these sort of words is coming together so i'm coming up with the next video explaining these definitions but to know that you know the definitions of wave you know the characteristics of wave and you know the types of waves that is the main target of this tutorial so i hope those are watching these videos uh, let me know your feedback and do you really understand what is discussed issues and i shall be so much happy if i get your recommendations and feedback so i'm coming up with the next video take care